Hey y'all, Southern Gaming Dude back here once again with some more of that Darkest Dungeon. Make sure to hit that subscribe button for more content in the near future. But anyways, let's see what we got today. We're going to be doing the Cove because I want I want to have a good leper in the future just for fun. And I need some accuracy trinkets and lo and behold, there's an accuracy trinket. So we got kind of a, kind of a weird party today. This is not something I would normally do, but uh, we're going to do that. And before I forget, yeah, we do have a few trinkets. Let's see. Blight skill chance. Okay, that's all I care about. And the stun. Make sure Plague Doctor has the right skills I want. That looks pretty good. Jester has all the somewhat decent trinkets. What does this do again? Disease resist. Nobody cares. Alright. So, anyways. Medium Cove run today. Kind of a weird party, but... Like I say, but yeah, it's whatever. Take some extra shovels, as per usual here. We'll, we'll take about, yeah, we'll take eight torches with this party. And what else do we need? Medicinal herbs, that's right. Okay, I think we're good. Mm, we'll take one of these just in case. Probably won't need it, but I don't know. You never know. We might find one of those uh, curios to remove, um, um, what's it called? The, uh, Either the negative quirks just permanently removes them. It's a little tentacle one. I always forget the name of it, but yeah, you need holy water to activate it. So yeah, we'll get going once it's load screen. Yeah, there we go. That took a little bit. Alright, what we got? That's a lot of scouting. Okay. So we got explored 90% of rooms. I guess we'll go this way first. And we'll go ahead and use one of these. Uh, that's pretty good. Alright. It's not too bad for, you know, first loot of the day. Alright, we got an easy encounter here. We're going to focus this dude down, focus that dude down, and we're going to kill that dude. Because that's how we roll. And I'm probably just going to use the Jester to remove some stresses. Yeah, this guy started off with a ton of stress, as you can see. I was hoping to get crit to one-shot that dude, but it's whatever. What's this guy's resistances? Not a whole lot. So this guy should just be dead. This is four damage, I believe. Yep. All right. So let's start removing some of that stress. Cause that shit's annoying. Also, we are going to stun this guy while damaging him. Wait, he can't. That way he can't uh, heal that dude. Oh wait, right. His turn ain't come yet. So he he couldn't have done that. Well, whatever. He can't stress anybody. Yeah. All right. Anyways. Let's finish off this battle here. I guess we'll take this guy out. Nice and clean like. Raise some more stress. And I love having jesters at this level. They're so freaking useful. Now we'll just kill this guy a little slowly. Let's give him a little stun. Then we can hopefully get some more stress heals off, which shouldn't be too hard. I'll tell you what, we're just going to... You know, do that on purpose so his turn can hopefully come up soon. Now, this guy might go for the jester and he'll just die. Luckily, it did not. So now I get another stress heal. Woo! Now he probably dies because he'll be faster than this dude. Okay, or not. So, okay, he has six speed, but the RNG uh, pretty much was like, yeah. Um, yeah, he's going to go first, but yeah. That, that's the thing that happens sometimes. Sometimes the slower guy goes first. Sometimes. Not always, though. Not very often. And we got a nice little surprise attack. That's pretty nice. Alright, so let's see. How are we doing here? It's not too bad. Now, I think we will use the Jester to attack for the beginning of this. Because this is quite a scary little group of enemies. They got a decent amount of damage. And just, yeah, annoying stuff they can do. Stress-wise and all that. Bleeds. So, first thing we're, we're going to do, I think we're just going to guard. I think that's what we're going to do. How much pro is that? Only 30%. Okay. Hmm. What level is this guy? I can't remember. I'll check here in a second. Can't remember if that's level 1 uh, defender or 2. I guess it's 2. Okay. Hmm. That's still not bad. 30%. And it's stackable, so... I'm okay with him doing that little baby heal. Doesn't really bother me that much. Okay, I'm gonna have to heal this guy up. Holy crap. He is getting his ass beat, unfortunately. 
Uh, let's see. I don't really have any good ways of healing, unfortunately. We'll dot this guy up real quick. We do have a lot of extra food in a camp. But yeah, he is getting his ass beat, unfortunately. Hmm. Guess we'll just do that. Let's see here. We're just gonna play it safe and do the double stun. That way he doesn't get hit any next round. That guy should die. Yep, yep. Let's go ahead and do this. It's more for removing the bleed or whatever than um, actually, you know, healing. But you never know. Good guy crit heal may heal for a couple points. All right, let's finish this dude off here. Hopefully he doesn't go next. Oh, well, actually I don't have to worry about that. He's dead. Forgot that guy hadn't went yet. All right, let's see what we got here today in this chest. A lot of heirlooms, that's pretty nice. All right, let's give him four food. Okay, that's a decent amount of healing. I think he'll be okay. Um, I do need Cress, um, so we're gonna take a little, uh, we're gonna get rid of that, we don't need that. Okay, we got Trap in here. Let's see if he can disarm it, very nice. Come on, big money. Crest, okay. Fair enough, I need Crest. You always need Crest. They are the most, like, plentiful, like, um, heirloom, but they're used in, like, every building, so, yeah. There's a reason you find them more often than any other, uh, heirlooms. Now we get to walk all the way back. All the way back. This is a big-ass dungeon for a medium. Dang gum. Sometimes you get them a little smaller, but yeah, this is pretty large. There's that fish carcass again. Hopefully we can find some more food to heal this dude up with. Oh, nice. Well, ask and you shall receive, I suppose. Let's see what we got. Eh, just two food. Hey, it's something, though. We'll go ahead and give him that. Oh, we can't yet. That's right. Got our lucky disarm. Very nice. Hmm. Oh, we got our scout. Come on, my room. We did not get the my room. That's unfortunate. But whatever. Okay, who has negative corks? I know the jester does. She does. She only has one, so we're just going to go ahead and get rid of that real quick. I'm out of medicinal herbs. That's unfortunate. Uh, let's see here. Wow, jester's getting really lucky at this arm. Or disarming the traps this run. It's pretty nice. I think he has the highest chance of all these guys, though, so. Yeah, that's why I'm using him. I'm not gonna mess with that thing, Majig. We're just gonna walk by that. I don't wanna mess with that shit. Come on, big money. Eh, it's okay, I guess. He's still full. Hmm, not a whole lot going on in this dungeon so far. Just a couple of baby fights. Really easy stuff. Very simple. There's the hunger check. I was wondering when that would happen. Go ahead and pop a few torches there. I have a feeling there's going to be a fight in this room. Don't know for sure, though. There's a chest. We have four shovels. Alright, now we have three. That's some pretty good loot. Mm, I want that. Um, I want all that stuff. I don't really need the blood yet. Come on. Ah, damn. I knew he'd get unlucky sooner or later. It's quite a nasty debuff, too. Lasts for a long ass time, so that's really unfortunate. Gotta go ahead and pop those torches. We got another chest. We we'll used one more shovel in these chests. We're gonna save the other two for. Uh, blockades and shit. Um, I will take that over that because it's worth more and I already have a stack of those. That's unfortunate we still have that on. If we had medicinal herb, we could remove that, but we do not, so. That's alright, though. We got the double stun right off the bat, although that guy did resist it. I'm not too worried about his damage. Okay. You're gonna buff the snail of all things. Okay, that's fine. 
I don't mind that one bit. Snail doesn't really do a lot of damage, fortunately. That's a nice little double crit. He got bleed on him, so he's gonna die in two rounds. That's pretty nice. Hmm. Might be able to kill this. Yeah, Snail's gonna die now on his turn. Nice. I don't have to worry about him at all. Um, let's see here. We're just gonna stun this guy so I don't have to deal with any stress attacks or him healing that dude up. And he'll rot a little bit to the dots there, so that'll be nice. But the dots, I mean the single dot on him. And should be able to kill both these guys. Like this guy is, yeah, he's definitely dead on this next turn. Hmm. Oh shit, that sucks. Yeah, we'll be camping uh, very shortly. It's getting a little bit messy. This is what it's like when you don't really have anybody that has a heal on your in your team. Let's see here. Yeah, I'm just gonna gamble and take that because yeah, I don't know if we'll run to the correct curio to use that on. Got another scout. All right. A buff room down there. I don't have to go down there though. We're gonna go ahead and camp that way we can free up some space. We'll free up two slots there. It's pretty nice. Alright, what we got? What we got? Turn back time. This is one of the really good ones here. Look at that. Negative 30 strats. Boom. Good stuff. Nice little dodge crit buff for everybody. That's good. I'm trying to remember what some of these do here. Mm, more crits, good. We only have two more points there to use. Alright, we'll just do that. Hopefully we don't get ambushed. We will probably get ambushed, but we'll deal with it. Nope, didn't get ambushed. Wow, okay. Good stuff. Alright. I'm gonna swap them around. She does have Iron Swan. She has to be in the front to use that. More Crest. Nice. Very nice. Okay, we're pretty healthy now. Or at least healthier. Okay, this is kind of a nasty encounter. Luckily, I got the surprise. Getting pretty lucky today. Yeah, we're just going to stack some bleeds on her. I should be able to finish her off with this when her turn uh, comes around there. Yeah, she's dead. We're going to... Hmm, let's see. I feel like we're going to gamble with this retribution ability a little bit. I don't use this too often, but I figure it'd be fun to play around with it. And they're not going to hit him, are they? <laughs> yeah, they're just not going to hit him. That's the problem I have with Retribution. Like, I'll use it and I'll just get unlucky and they'll hit everybody but him. Okay, we got a winner, though. We got we do have a winner now. He's in him now. That's good. Alright, what's everybody's stress at? Very low. Alright. We'll go ahead and do the double hit here. I didn't think we'd get bleed, but hey, it's whatever. Should be able to kill that guy. Come on, Blight. Nice. Okay, he's dead. Okay, this paying off big dividends. Holy shit. Oh, yeah, yeah. I usually don't get this lucky with this skill. That's really good. All right. I wish it worked that well all the time. Maybe I'll try using that a little bit more. I remember when it used to be really overpowered. I can't remember why it was overpowered. I just remember you could, like, just run one of, those, one of these guys, and that's it. And he would just demolish everything. It was, like, ridiculous. Anyways, moving on. No fight in here. Okay. Oh, another trap. I got lucky. Uh, he got a nice little dodge there. Now, we are out of um, medicinal herbs. We're just going to uh, bleed. How you get bleed off of fifth? I guess the bones will cut you. I don't know. That's kind of weird. I don't know how you would bleed off messing with a fish corpse, but whatever. We got a surprise attack, and it's very dark. It's in the shadowy 
stage there, as you can see. And so that's pretty lucky. I like that. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to stun the uh, front row because they're a bunch of assholes. And we're going to work on the back row with a nice little grenade, plague grenade, or whatever that Billy's called. Is that plague grenade? Yeah, plague grenade. Yeah. All right. Also, another thing we're going to do is we're going to do that. And we're going to get a lucky crit, which is great. I was just playing on stunning, but hey, killing him is even better. And I'm not really too threatened by that. I don't really care. As long as he's not healing people or getting them damage buffs, I really don't give a shit. He'll probably heal himself. Nope, he's going to do stress wave for some reason. Okay, fair enough. Uh, let's see here. Now, my Hellion's in a pretty dangerous uh, spot here on her HP. She could easily get hit once or twice or get crit once and it would be really bad. So we're going to finish this dude off so I don't have to worry about her getting hit this round. I should be able to stun uh, this guy with this dude. Because these guys have jack shit for stun resistance. I mean, look at that 10% resistance right now. 10% on that guy as well. Yeah, that guy's dead. This guy will be dead before he is able to act again. I mean, he may go, but he'll be stunned. Actually, he's not even going to get to get out of the stun. He's just dead. All right, more deeds. Good stuff. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy um, we're going to try to loot this with um, her. Like, we do have two shovels, but I have a feeling there's going to be some blockades up ahead, so I would rather just loot it like that. Yeah, there's one blockade. Like, we haven't seen blockades, really, so... Yeah. They call them obstacles, I call them blockades. Or walls, or whatever. Call them whatever you want. You could just call them shit in your way. That would work, too. This might be the end of the dungeon here. Yep. Alright. Good stuff, good stuff. Let's see how much money we got. I don't think we got tons of money, but we got a lot of, like, heirlooms, so that's really good. Let's see what we got here. 9,000... Almost 15k. Pretty close. It's a lot of crests. We do need crests a lot right now. We need everything, really. But crests, we were... I think we were completely out of crests. I need to get that removed. We'll do that real quick. We will be doing the... The um, Crimson Court stuff here pretty soon. I'm just trying to get these guys... You know, decent levels. And, you know, get them... Max armor upgrades and weapon upgrades, and you know, get the their skills at the appropriate levels. Let's see, where's my Hellion? There she is. So we're gonna fix that real quick. Fix this disease, and we're gonna fix this guy as well. He's a new recruit. We're just gonna get that crap removed. Keep these guys as clean as possible. Check for high stress. This guy has a little bit of stress, not that much though. I think I can't remember if I equipped that on purpose or whatever. I guess it doesn't matter. That's all right. Let's see if we got a good leper on board here. We do not have a leper yet. Hmm. Got an abomination. I'll take that. Yeah, I'd like an abomination to play around with. We got our antiquarian here. Kleptomaniac. That is not a good. That is not a good antiquarian uh, quirk. Oh man. Holy shit. That's bad. Okay. I could get removed, but eh. I'll probably just wait for another. Decent antiquarian to come along. Plus, I'm full anyways right now. Let's see here. We're going to sell some of these trinkets. I don't really use this too much. I'm going to sell that one I have on that one dude pretty soon. Um, let's see here. We do have uh, this thing, which is really nice. That's really useful in the cove and other areas. Especially the cove there right now. Like, holy shit, that's so good. I mean, you got to remember, when you're using this ability... Um, you know, you're doing 15% bonus damage to Eldritch, and you stack that 20% on there, and then you got 35%. It's just like, whoa. Don't forget about that 4% crit as well. And this has a decent crit modifier, too. I forgot about that. It's a 5% crit modifier. Now, I know the damage is reduced by 25%, but when you add all that plus damage to it, oh, man, makes up for it a lot. So, anyways, I think that's going to be all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see you next time.